Hello and welcome to another TLDR EU video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look into the latest Brexit developments, this time relating to the not at all sensitive subject of Gibraltar, the UK and Spain. That's because Spain and the UK have competing claims over the territory, and Gibraltar is miles away from the UK, making Brexit even tougher for the territory, especially if no deal is reached. That's why the UK and Spain have been discussing the issue in recent days, alongside the ongoing Brexit negotiations. So what are Gibraltar and Spain trying to agree, and how does this impact Brexit going forward? We'll answer both of those questions in this video. Before we do though, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. We release a whole bunch of videos about the EU and European nations, so if that's something you're interested in, then make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever we post. We also have channels which focus on the UK, US and daily news, so check those out linked in the description. Before we get too deep into it, we probably should explain what Gibraltar is and why it's relevant to Brexit. Gibraltar is a small overseas territory located in southern Spain. Due to some power struggles and a complicated line of secession, in the early 1700s, Gibraltar became a British territory. This was first formally recognised in 1713, in Article 10 of the Treaty of Utrecht. In the years that followed, Spain tried to reclaim the territory unsuccessfully, and then future treaties cemented the British claim, but these still weren't enough to convince Spanish leaders. So, the infamous General Franco implemented a policy to try and reclaim the territory. As you probably guessed, this was not successful either. Moving forward into this century, a referendum was held in 2002 over whether to implement a form of joint sovereignty between the UK and Spain over the territory. This was rejected, and the UK government subsequently claimed that they would not agree to shift any sovereignty without the consent of the people of Gibraltar. To this day, there's still contention between the UK and Spain over the territory, all the way back to February 2019, when the first threats of no deal were looming. At the time, the EU implemented a series of contingency plans, one of which was to continue to allow direct flights between the UK and EU destination for nine months, in the event of a no deal. The issue was that Gibraltar was not included in the plans, the EU explicitly noted that the plans were without prejudice to the position of the Kingdom of Spain in regard to the sovereignty over the territory in which the airport of Gibraltar is situated. Then again, earlier in November 2018, the Spanish Prime Minister vowed to veto Brexit if Spanish concerns about the role and future of Gibraltar were not properly taken into account during negotiations with Spain demanding that any talks regarding the future relationship between Gibraltar and the EU take place separately from the broader UK-EU negotiations, and that said negotiations could only progress with Spain's approval. And that's far from the end of Gibraltar's role in Brexit negotiations. The withdrawal agreement itself completely skirts the issue of sovereignty, saying, underlining that this protocol is without prejudice to the respective legal positions of the Kingdom of Spain and the United Kingdom, with regard to sovereignty and jurisdiction. The withdrawal agreement also provides for the creation of a specialised committee consisting solely of Spanish and UK officials to deal with the issue of Gibraltar. Anyway, enough history, what does the future hold? At the end of December this year, the UK will end the transition period and enter a whole new relationship with the EU. For businesses in Gibraltar, this could actually lead to a huge disruption for them. Currently, as the UK is in the transition period, free movement of people with Europe is still a thing. This means that Gibraltar, a territory of the UK, has this right too. And in fact, lots of people rely on it. The Spanish Foreign Minister has claimed that 15,000 people cross the border from Spain to Gibraltar each day. She went on to say that most workers come from the town La Lina, whose unemployment is close to 40%. This means if they cannot commute across the border, then they won't be able to continue getting work in Gibraltar, nor, it seems, another job in the town. Clearly then, this border issue is an important one, and one close to the hearts of many people in both Gibraltar and Spain. The default after the 31st of December is that overnight, the border between Spain and Gibraltar becomes the EU's external border, 
requiring fully fledged border controls and passport checks. This isn't particularly new though. Gibraltar has never been part of the Schengen area, the EU's passport free travel area. The issue being that overnight, hopping over the border for UK nationals will become less like going from one London borough to another and more like travelling to America. In fact, Gibraltar's very own document on preparing for the end of the transition period highlights that authorities will be required to carry out systematic checks on EU citizens and thorough checks on third country nationals at both entry and exit. Given people cross the border several times a day, the practicalities are hard to imagine to say the least. While skirting around the issue of sovereignty, both Spain and Gibraltar are, according to multiple sources, rapidly negotiating an agreement between themselves to strengthen ties and limit the disruption that would occur when the UK eventually leaves the transition period at the end of the year. According to the FT, Gibraltar is seeking to join the Schengen area, which would remove the vast, vast majority of passport checks when travelling between Gibraltar and Spain, as well as the EU's customs union. Ultimately, this move would bring the region closer to the EU, all while the UK is moving at speed away. The Spanish government has separately pushed Gibraltar to do just that, to join Schengen, making the request in a series of meetings between Britain and Gibraltar, although the UK government is far from enthusiastic about the idea. It does appear that both sides are for once putting down the spear of sovereignty, collectively agreeing not to touch that elephant in the room. On the Spanish side, the Spanish foreign minister stressed that on the big sovereignty issue, we know where things stand. We will not renounce sovereignty, nor will the UK. But below that, on things that matter for everyday life, we know we can make it smoother. We can make it simpler. We can make it less costly. Something echoed on the British side, with officials indicating that they would not stand in the way of an agreement, and that the UK remains committed to finding a solution that supports Gibraltar, its people and its economy. So what do you think? Should Gibraltar move closer to the EU and do whatever's in its best interests? Or must the UK move forward together, as one, come what may? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we release a new video. Special thanks to our Patreon backers who make videos like this one possible.